a totally different creative machine. This variant of the ROG Zephyrus G14 has been made even more special, thanks to the design geniuses of Aerosol Hughes from Acronym and David Rodnick, a brilliant graphic designer. What's up everyone, my name is Colin and this is Ungeek's first impression of the ASUS ROG Zephyrus G14 Acronym Edition or the RMT-01 or the Reality Modeling Tool. Now we've actually checked the ROG Zephyrus G14 before and we've even given it pretty high marks on our review. And now the luxury streetwear brand Acronym is putting their spin on a crowd favorite. One of the striking design decisions done on the Zephyrus acronym is to place the unit and its accessories inside creatively reusable bubble packaging that you can use as a laptop sleeve if you're keen on doing so. The creative markings almost has this glitch tech vibe to it and corporate branding is kept to a minimum. With the ASUS ROG Zephyrus G14 acronym, the duo made their design choices speak for itself. This is the same design ethos with Acronym, one of the sought-after underground luxury streetwear design houses. Drawing inspiration from punk, tech, future, and Japanese tailoring designs, Acronym is one of the influential houses that has propelled what is now known as techwear into the spotlight. This is not the first time the house has collaborated with other mainstream brands. Acronym has worked with perhaps one of the largest names in sportswear, Nike, and even collaborated with Hideo Kojima's Kojima production on a Death Stranding all-weather functional jacket that got sold out almost instantaneously. This is however the first time they're lending their design and luxury touch on a laptop, and we are thrilled. Right off the bat, we can see the familiar silhouette of the Zephyrus G14, which makes sense since this is an ASUS ROG Zephyrus G14 in almost all sense of the word, except for some various tweaks. For one, the Zephyrus acronym now sports a full lid perforation versus the traditional G14 where it only has perforations from the mid to the top of the device. Similar to the previous model, these perforations serve as creative markings that you can customize, add text, or add varying designs to make this machine truly yours. And exclusive to this model, the laptop's anime matrix LED features a bold black and pink color palette that gives off a tech noir feel. There's also a new logo etched at the bottom part of the lid. This is called the RMT Cascade logo, or the RMT-01. The designer's name for this machine stands for Reality Modeling Tool 01, a design philosophy that we will see again throughout the entire laptop. The cascading logo represents the flow of information from one point to the next, from a data point to another data point, or inherently from the machine to the user or the person intended. Unlike other Zephyrus G14 models, there is no logo at the bottom bezel of the display. Instead, the model is indicated on precision etchings along its side that also reinforces the notion that this is a precision crafted tool, like the markings on a camera lens. As far as connectivity goes, the ROG Zephyrus acronym has the same number of connecting ports as that of the regular G14. We're talking about an HDMI port, a Type-C port, and a 3.5mm jack on one side, two USB Type-A ports, another Type-C port, and a Kensington lock port on the other. Once you open the device, you know you're stepping into a whole new world. The keyboard alone is a visual feast, with custom key colors and fonts that truly elevate the Zephyrus G14. David Rudnick, still riding on the cascading of information idea, plays around with the interplay of natural in synthetic design, and how, while they may be of two different worlds, their interactions are not just inevitable. It is beautifully necessary. For example, while most keys are black, the ones on the outer rim are brightly colored. With the exception of the numbers 1, 2, and 3, the other colored keys are rendered in a more naturalistic tone, not typically associated with hard edge tech and gaming. Adding natural shades like Kurumatsu Japanese Pine, Shale, and Okta adds visual harmony and sorts of give your laptop this mini zen garden moment. The fact that some of these colors bleed in and surround your whole space is indicative of the design ethos that we talked about earlier. Remember how designs bleed from one form to the other? Another thing that jumps from the usual is the choice of font styles seen on the keyboard. David Rudnick chose two seemingly clashing fonts as part of his design for the laptop. One is what he calls a technical serif, a font with minimalist serifs. You know, it's the part of a font which simulates the excess ink left over from traditional pen or brush strokes. This, he feels, represents acronyms blending of technical design and art. 
the second is a supporting font rendered in sans serif, a font that you would typically see in more modern gadgets and mostly is attributed to technology. This helps balance the technical serif font. Again, it's this interplay of two seemingly opposing ideas to create harmony, old and new, natural and synthetic, black and colored. There's an almost living flow to the design, which creates this entire new experience not found in most gaming hardware. Now the whole point of why we're pointing this down is for us to really appreciate that what we're holding right here isn't just a gaming machine. This isn't just a gaming laptop even. At its core, it's design. And you'll see more proof of that as we delve deeper into the laptop, especially when you turn the ROG Zephyrus G14 acronym on. Replacing the usual ROG logo, you're greeted with a distinct low machine hum from the RMT-01 Cascade logo. What happens next is even more odd as you're greeted with a weird cryptic wallpaper. Of course, you're still treated to a beautiful 14-inch IPS display. However, the designers decided to drop the gaming-like high refresh rate of the Zephyrus G14 from 120Hz refresh rate down to 60Hz. I mean, what gives? However, we do get a bump on screen resolution from Full HD to WHQD at 2560 by 1440p. If that's not enough to pick your interest, then the ASUS ROG Zephyrus G14 acronym also comes with this weird packet that has a specially marked USB necklace and a piece of paper that has a cipher-like gibberish written on it. Now we have been going at this for a while now and we still can't seem to crack what it is. Now once you pop the USB on any of the USB type A slots, you get an odd message. Now obviously, with instructions like these, you're not just about to follow them, will you? Of course not! And that's exactly what we did. That's how we ended up with a new module called The Brain. The Brain is a nifty creative tool that allows users to map thoughts and concepts out visually and associatively in a non-linear fashion. Data points, known as thoughts, can be cross-referenced to any content like text, audio, video files, or web links. The Brain was conceived by Errolson Hughes' brother and has been used by Hugh himself. Think of it as a high-tech word mapping tool, but with much more complexity. As for what powers the brain and everything else on the ROG Zephyrus acronym, the machine is still running on an AMD Ryzen 9 4900 HS, an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 Max-Q, and 32 gigs of RAM. As this basically is a Zephyrus G14 and with the configuration given above, you could pretty much run any program with ease. The additional 16 gigs of RAM should be more than enough to accommodate even the most demanding of games and the 1TB SSD should give you access to games or files in a flash. Now you can tweak your machine's performance more via the ROG Armory Crate where you can tinker with the fan speed, screen display setting, and monitor temperatures whenever you want to. This is also where you can customize your anime matrix by adding text, image, or animation and make this device really yours. So who is this device really for? Was it intended for gamers per se or somebody else? Well, with the design philosophy of cascading information and the ever-fluctuating movement of style, the Zephyrus G14 acronym is intended for those who live and breathe creative. The designers are also on Hughes and David Rudnick envisioned a machine that has a design philosophy that could cater to individuals that may shift from one persona to the next. You can be a game designer one day and then suddenly drop an album the next a hardcore gamer one moment, and then later starts designing his own fashion line. Hence this sort of mismatch of specs and design cues that theoretically should not work. But it does. So if you're into gaming or content creating, the ASUS ROG Zephyrus G14 acronym is for you if you have the cash to spare, as this retails for 129,995 pesos without the additional mouse or ROGI that comes with the ROG Zephyrus G14 white with anime matrix. This is pretty much for those who want to complement their creatively cool tech slash hype lifestyle. Again, if you're a fan of acronym and own a couple of their pieces, you'd want to get your hands on this, as this is hands down one of the most beautiful pieces of functional design art that you can own and interact with on a daily basis.
And that's it for this creative unboxing slash review of the ASUS ROG Zephyrus G14 acronym, also known as RMT01 or the Reality Modeling Tool. I hope you guys had fun and if you want more stuff on games, tech, and geekery, keep it here at ungeek.ph. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so because we're making more and more videos for you guys. You know, just click that subscribe button down below, hit the notification bell beside it so you know when we've come up with a new video. And with that, my name is Colin and if you've watched until this point, maraming maraming salamat po. We actually had fun creating this video for you guys and we were actually inspired by the unit itself, you know, the design philosophy behind this actually pushed us to be a little bit more creative and to give you guys something a little bit different from what we usually do. So let us know your thoughts at the comment section down below if this is something you like, if you want to see more of this, uh, we will try to create and give you guys that for future videos as well. And with that, I will see you on the next video. Guys, please keep safe, keep healthy, and as always, keep on gaming. Bye-bye, guys.